Hello folks, this is Mike. Now, do you have a nice set of wooden dining room chairs like these? But maybe your glides are worn out on the bottom of your chairs. Maybe they're even scratching the floor. Well, it's definitely time to replace them. And this video is a beginner's guide on how to do just that. Now, dining room chairs can get a lot of use and be dragged across your floor multiple times a day. For that reason, they need something more durable than just a pill and stick glide. <laughs> and I prefer these. Now these have a non more surface and there's actually a nail that's a half inch to three quarter inches long. Uh, these are centered and nailed into the bottom of your chair. In this video, I'm going to show you my process for doing just that. <laughs> but first, let's go below folks and don't forget to like our video, subscribe to our channel, and ring that bell. What we have on these hundred year old chairs is a simple tap-in steel guide. And I'm worried that these are going to damage my floors. So I want to replace them. And I'm just using a screwdriver. I'm going to press hard against the guide and twist and they pop right out. Now I'm going to set these aside and I'm going to store them. Now if we ever decide to sell this furniture, I'll restore them to the original glides. Now this is one of the nail-in types. And you can see this is a little harder to get off. But this process is just the same. I'm going to tap it with a screwdriver and get up under it and just pry it out of the chair. And now this is a good case in point as to why we would use these tap-in guides. These have been in these chairs well over 20 years, and they're still in pretty good shape. Make sure that the diameter of your new glides is smaller than that of your chair bottom. That way, if you get them off-center, you won't end up with them looking like this. And that way, if you get it a bit off center, it's okay. But I like to center mine. So I draw a line from each corner. And of course, the intersection is going to be absolute center. If you've got round chair legs, they were probably machine turned. And as such, may already have a mark in center. And you can just use that. If not, you can use a center finder. I butt it up against the chair. And then I draw the first line. Now I'm going to rotate it halfway around, and then I'll draw the second line, and then I have center. I'll put a paid link in the video description for this item and for the other products we use in this video. Next, I'm using a drill bit slightly smaller than the nail diameter, and I'm going to drill a pilot hole. I do this because old chairs can have really dry wood and can easily split if you just nail it directly into the wood. Be sure not to rock your drill back and forth. Be sure to hold it steady because these small diameter bits break very easily. So we're going to center the guide over the hole and then we'll tap it in. And I like to use a little piece of wood block just to keep it from scratching the pan. This is a bit overkill because of the woodworker in me. You can actually just nail them straight in with your hammer if you wish. Now we can just repeat the same process for each chair leg until we get all the way around. So now we can take it in and try it out. Okay, let's see what we've got. Slides easily, doesn't it? But there's no weight in it, so let me sit in it. Yeah, here we go. Okay, it still slides smoothly, even with me in it. And there's no scratching or mooring on the floor. So I would say we have a successful project. If you have any questions or comments, be sure to send those to me, and I will answer you personally. Also, thank you guys for tuning in today, and folks, until next time, thanks for watching.